know? But, you know, hey, man, you got to be careful. You. Hey, man, you got to be careful with that, man. Because, you know, I've I mean, I seen a lot of brothers try to drag that old man into the truth, man. It don't work like that, man. It don't work like that, man. Because it's just going to be a fucking barrier. And you're going to go so far in and you're going to keep hitting that barrier. And you you never progress, man. The Lord will never bring you up on another level, man. Because you, you still got that nigga in you, man. Right. And what's going to happen when, 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 when deliverance comes, man? You're not going to be delivered, man. You know why? Because the eyes of the, hope of the Lord are too righteous to behold sin, man. Yes. Colossians 3 and 9. It says, lie not one to another. Lie not one to another. See, yeah, for, for those of you who don't know who lying is, you know, lying is saying one thing, and what's really going on is a totally different thing, man. You know, a lot of people act like they don't know what a fucking lie is, man. You know, and then make excuses for a lie. No, I, just, I didn't lie. I just didn't tell you what was really going on. Motherfucker, you lied then, man. <laughs> they, Jake be trying to fucking chocolate coat yeah. sin, bro. <laughs> Jake, Jake, Jake takes sin and put a fucking chocolate coat on it and then shove it down your fucking throat, man. <laughs> be shit in the middle. Chocolate covered shit. And, and then try to make you say it's good. Yeah, you know? man. Hey, shit good, ain't it? Yeah. Pussy in the middle is good. Yeah. That's not, that's yeah. not. Yeah. Yes, it is. Hey, just eat one more bite. Yeah. Eat one more bite. You gotta really get into the taste. Right, right. Yo, know, man, Jake, man, Jake, man, our people are fucking wicked, man. Our people are wicked as hell, man. And that's a, that's a big stumbling block for a lot of people, man. Putting off that old man. Because people, when you in sin, you like the person you are. You know? You like this world when you in sin. You like the people out there that, that used to hang around. Yeah. You know? But when you're in the truth, you hate all this shit. I hate the nigga I was, man. Right. Shit, I still feel bad about shit I did when I was, before I came into the truth, man. Right. You know, I hate the nigga I was, man. Oh, the Lord punish he looking all retarded. Yeah, he looking all retarded and shit. The Lord punish him. Hell, even in the truth, hell, recently I had to correct some of my wrongs, you know, in this truth, man. A lot of my wrongs. You know, but see, that's the thing about it. A lot of so-called brothers of the truth, they don't have integrity, man. They don't, they're not willing to admit their wrongs or even say that they're wrong. They look at themselves like they're perfect, like they do no wrong. Yeah. You know? That's part of their lies, too. Getting over on them. You call them out and say, hey, brother, you know, uh, you know, you did this and this. No, I didn't, brother. No, it, it wasn't nothing like that. Oh, yes, it was. Yeah, a nigga will shit on you, bro. A nigga will shit on you and expect you to still be acting the same way right. before he shit on you. Like, what, you not my friend no more? No, fuck you, nigga. Right. Hell no, I'm not your fucking friend. That nigga will shit on you and then won't apologize and expect you to be still cool with him. Like, everything is all gravy. It's not fucking gravy, nigga. You shit on me, man. <laughs> you shitting in my gravy. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not gravy. That's shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's all shit, man. I shit on you and them. Hey, <laughs> what's yeah. up, man? How you doing? You doing all right? No, I'm not doing fucking all right, man. I'm fucked up because you shit on me, man. That's right. That's right. And won't, won't have no mind to fucking apologize, man. That's what's wrong with our fucking people, man. These goddamn niggas, man. That's why a lot of the majority of chicks don't die, man. Cause they'll put, they'll put it in their mind like they fucking right, man. And be totally left. So sure what? Well, Jake's talk so much shit. They, they fool themselves into believing lies, man. They'll fuck over a person and then 
be looking at that person crazy for not dealing with them, man. Oh, you acting funny now? Hell yeah, motherfucker. I should be. Cause you a piece of shit nigga. You, hey, like eight ball MJG, you a fuck nigga. That's right. <laughs> Niggas right. hate to see you coming, old fuck ass nigga. <laughs> oh, fuck nigga, man. But it's true though. I mean, there's a lot of fuck niggas that call themselves man of the Lord, man. That's right. Them the worst ones, man. Them is the worst ones. They salute you, greet you, say they love you, but at the same time, fuck you over, man. Shit, man, bro. Man, ain't say. nothing worse than that, man. Man. Ain't nothing fucking worse than that. And especially, and you know what? That's I see I see why like like if you if you ever met El Tar personally, he's got kind of like a reclusive spirit. He don't do every fucking thing, man. He, he basically when you meet him, he had the crib chilling, man. Right. You know? Yeah. You know, he don't he don't call you and be like, yeah, uh, yeah, meet me at fucking uh, uh, Taco Bell down the street. Hey, y'all want to go to the bar tonight? Ain't none of that shit going on. And I see why he's like that, man. You know what I'm saying? Because dealing with niggas and they shit, man. Right. You understand? You understand the mentality of certain people once you deal with niggas, man, and they shit. Right. Like, yeah, I'm, okay, I, 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 I totally understand it now. Me too. <laughs> I don't want to be around you niggas either. Just imagine, man, like dealing with niggas, man, for, for that many years. And they said, you know, you know bullshit, man. Man, you know bullshit a thousand miles away, man. You're like, oh, it's some bullshit coming. Yeah. The bullshit come tomorrow. You be like, oh, that's the bullshit I smelled yesterday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the bullshit I smelled. You know? Cause you know, hey, I'm sure, and like all the all the stories that they tell us about the how the old One West camp and how niggas is being tyrants, they've been there, done that shit, man. And you know what? They not trying to do it again, man. Ain't nobody trying to do it again. Who wants to get fucked over? No, ain't, ain't nobody walking around. Hey, can you please fuck over me today? I would I would gladly appreciate it. <laughs> I'm begging you, please. Yeah. Hey, now just. Hey, hey, I'm gonna drop my wallet and I want you to steal it when I when I turn my back. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> nobody wanna be around, nobody's gonna fuck them over, man. And then when they ask you, I want you to lie and say no, you can take it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Have a nice day. You really helped me. <laughs> Cause see, it's hard. It's really hard. The lives we live is hard for Jake to let anybody get close to him. But then once you let somebody get in your circle or get in that comfort zone and you form a bond with that person and you tell them, hey, bro, I love you, bro. You know what I'm saying, bro, I love you. And the same brother you tell them that you love turn around and, and, and screw you over, man. Mm -hmm. That hurts. Yeah. That makes you angry. That makes you want to kill them because you let down your wall to let this stranger into your life that you call a brother show care and compassion for and they fucked you over. I can imagine how you Howard Shaw felt when Judas fucked him over, even though he knew it was gonna happen. Mm -hmm. See, it's the principle of this dude walked and talked with you, ate with you, cried together with you, went through the struggles with you, and yet he still turned around. Exactly, he turned around and fucked you over. Hey, hey who's that? Peter denied him? <laughs> he said it before the cock crows. You gonna deny me thrice, man. See? And he didn't believe that shit. And that's a nigga, bro. That's how you know that's us, man. No, I would never do that. That's a, no, I don't believe that. I don't believe that's what happened now. <laughs> nah, I can't, no. Nah. It must be another Peter or something. Lord, you tripping. Yeah. <laughs> it must be, is another Peter gonna go? No, it's gonna be you, nigga. It's gonna be you. <laughs> you know? It's gonna be you, nigga. That's why it's hard for Jake to let people into their lives and get close to them like that, man, because all through their life they get fucked over so much, so you have a lot of brothers that come into the truth with the same mentality. Well, damn, I done got fucked over so much in life, I can't trust nobody, so I had to run game uh, on this brother and their brother to get what I want. Yeah, man, and ain't no brother supposed to be looking at another brother as a come up. Man. Right. The Lord blessed him, man. The Lord ain't blessed you because you a fucking nigga, man. That's right. You're not supposed to look at that brother like, hey, he, he a come up. Like, come up. Now I'm gonna come up off this nigga. Right. That, that's man, man, Jake is, man, bro. 
That's why a lot of you fucking niggas die, man. We ain't gonna say one fucking tear when you niggas start dropping dead, man. That's right. I ain't, man, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say one fucking tear, man. Right. You know? If someone a man of war gonna, gonna get put to death, though, you know what I'm saying? Which is, you know, hopefully I don't have to experience that. But for a nigga, man, two-third nigga, simple life, hey, man, death to you niggas, man. Right. Goodbye to you niggas, man. Right. That you die so swiftly, 